Survey setup for the Leica Robotic Total Station. Once your equipment is set up and you're ready to survey, you can check the level and laser plummet at any time throughout the job by hitting Shift F12. It's going to pull up your level and laser plummet. If you hit the page icon on the right, bottom right, or F6, it'll bring up your laser plummet. You can turn it on or off or change the intensity. Page back to the level, escape to the main menu. You can access the survey function two ways, through the survey icon or through programs. Either way will bring you to the same starting menu. Once we're in the survey menu, we're going to select the job. Click on job with the stylus or hit enter. It's going to bring you up a menu. These are jobs saved into the instrument onto your memory card. There are also previous traverse and control jobs that we've set up or loaded. For this job, we're going to use default for this example. We're going to hit continue. You can also see at the bottom you can create a new and edit your current jobs. Next option is going to give us our configuration setting. We're going to continue. We're going to leave that at Purdue. It's going to pull up our information menu. It's going to tell us our station ID, our instrument height, backset ID, target height, and method. You can also see F1, F3, and F6. You can keep our current setup, can create a new setup, or check our backside. We're going to hit F3 and create a new setup. Once we're in the new setup mode, it's going to ask you what method. Use the stylus, pull down the drop down menu, or hit enter. Both pull down the menu. Select which method. We're going to use known backside point because we're working off of a created job and we have a traverse that we know where the backside is. Enter to accept. It's going to ask you your station coordinates. It's going to say we're going to use from the control job again. You can pull down the drop down menu, select from job, control job, retain current, or from GPS. We're going to select from control job. It's going to bring us to our station ID. Pull up that menu. We're going to say we want to occupy CPA. Enter to accept. It's going to bring us to our instrument height. Once we've measured the height, you can input the instrument height with the keypad and then hit enter to accept. Next setting, our control job. Pull up that menu. We want to make sure that our control job is what we're working in. This is where we're going to be taking our control and our points from. Enter to accept. Once the station's set up, you can hit F1 to continue. That's going to bring us to our backsite setup. You can also see at the top, next to our setup tab, we have backsite info, which is going to show you your backsite northing and easting and your elevation. Also, station information. In the setup, we want to select our backsite. We're going to use backsite 001, enter to accept, or F1 to continue. Use the down arrows to change our reflector height. Use a keypad, type in the reflector height, enter to accept. Once everything is set up, you can see set and distance on the bottom left. If we hit distance or F2, it's going to simply take a distance from the instrument to the back site, or hit set and it's going to record our back site and our station. Before we hit set and record, we want to make sure that we're sighted onto our back site. As soon as we hit set, it's going to set our angle right at zero and set our station so the instrument knows where it's at. You can also see here at the top left, on the very top, to the right of the crosshair, our prism. We can change that if we're using a, a sighting, our backside sighted onto a reflector. We could change it to a reflector, or if it's simply a point, we can it's sight on our prism, and our prism, our rod is occupying our back site. Once we're sighted onto our back site, we're going to hit F1 and the instrument will search for the prism and it, once it finds it, it will tell you that our station orientation has been set and our angle right has also been set. 
Hit OK. And we're gonna and we're ready to survey. If the instrument does not find the prism, you can manually search by hitting F7, and the instrument will search 360 degrees from its previous location looking for the prism. If it loses it at any point, you can see the icon in the top next to the prism changes to a binoculars and it's searching for it. Once it finds it, you'll have a crosshair with a target around it. When you're ready to start surveying, we're going to go into our point ID. You can see point ID is currently at 004. If you set it 004 and I record the next point consecutively, it will record point 005. If you start at 100, it will go up from there, and so on. For this example, we're going to just use point 004. Once you type in your ID that you're going to start at, hit enter. Again, if you need to change your reflector height, you can change that again there. And then you're ready to record the point. In the bottom left, you can see all tab, distance tab, and record. Again, if we hit distance, it will simply check the distance. If we hit record or all, it's going to record the distance and our angle. Once we're on point, F1 or all, it's going to record the point, check the distance. It's going to tell you that the point number has been stored and move on to the next point. If you look at the top next to survey, you can see the survey, offset tab, code, or map tab. Use the stylus to select the tabs. Use the page icon on the bottom right or hit F6 to scroll through each page. You can see on the map it's showing our instrument location. It also shows our rod location and which backside point we just shot and where our first point is. If we hit escape it's going to bring us back to our survey menu and we're done surveying. Or you can use page to go back into the mode. Once in the survey beginning mode, you can select a different job or change your options. If you're done surveying, hit escape, bring you back to the main menu, and you're ready to start your next job.